Professor Peter Kachavivi gives an account of his personal interactions with the Queen, whom he met twice during her reign. I had the privilege of introducing my late wife, Rosemary Jane Kachavivi, to Her Majesty. We then made references to the fact that Jane had embarked upon publishing venture on the Namibian literature and general publishing. At this jun juncture, Her Majesty posed a very interesting question to Jane with reference to the fact that Namibia being a new nation, whether her work would also include oral history. His second interaction with her was at Buckingham Palace when Professor Kachavivi and his fellow envoys from a number of Commonwealth nations were invited to London. The Speaker of the National Assembly also had an honor to read on behalf of the Queen her messages during the commemoration of the Commonwealth Days. The Queen's message, Kachavivi says, has always been that of working for a better future, seeking for good governance and action on climate change among Commonwealth member countries. I would characterize the Queen's message as really aimed reflecting her, conce her concern, her um, uh, interest, as well as her hopes in terms of uh, keeping the Commonwealth family together. And there was always a, a, a message running through the particular statement of the time, and that has always something to do with the youth. Since the news of the Queen's death broke late Thursday, tribute have been pouring in on social media with mixed reactions to her legacy. We asked Professor Kachavivi what legacy the Queen left behind. Those of us who are familiar with the history of her reign, how she came, uh, how she took over from her late father, and how she, at the, at the very tender age, how she emerged as a form formidable rock within the United Kingdom and also uh, accepted the responsibility, the role of, 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 a, of a greater Commonwealth aspects. The man who was until late yesterday afternoon referred to as Prince Charles has now ascended to the throne and he will be known as King Charles III. But the question is, how will he strengthen the already existing relationship between the British monarch and the Commonwealth member countries? Timo Andreas, NBC News, Parliament.